I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why it's nice to have a stool, ladies and gentlemen, because this is the Royalty Theatre, and they're doing a show here called O oh Calcutta. And I don't know if it's my imagination, but can you smell curry? <laughs> Doing dress like that. Hello, dear father. A thousand, <laughs> oh, a thousand greetings. What do you? I told you to take your hat off in company. Oh no, I never relax and unwind until after the show. Pumpa dum. <laughs> What's in the basket? A uh, cobras. Pardon? <laughs> What's in the basket? Cobras. Must be the Indian accent. Yeah, and, uh, what do you uh, What do you do with these cobras? Well, I, it's so silly what I'm doing, but I'm putting the basket down like that, you see, and I'm playing on the whistle. The snakes they are dancing, and the audience they are going mad. Oh, they're shouting more, more, more! It's a wonderful show, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Yes, wonderful. I'd like to see that, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. you get me something to put my basket on. I'll show you. Jeff, could we have another stool, please? Stand well back. He's not in a good mood tonight. <laughs> One stool coming up. And I'm sorry about your head. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with his head. What's he got in the basket? Cobras. <laughs> oh, keep your shirt on, I only asked. <laughs> now, let's get this straight, Anthony. You say that you play the whistle. Play the whistle. Yeah. The, the snakes, they are dancing. Yeah. And the audience, oh, they're going crazy. They're going, they love it? Whoa, whoa. Well, let's see it, shall we? Go okay, on. here yeah. we go. It wasn't as good as all that. Well, let's hear it again. <laughs> I don't understand it. He went better than ever that time. <laughs> Get off, Anthony. It looks like trouble. Uh, good evening. You're, uh, you're Arthur, aren't you? That's correct. Yeah. Um... I see you're at it again, getting young birds to strip off. You dirty devil. <laughs> What's he on about? Don't come the old innocent, mate. You were at it last week, weren't you? Had my Mrs. Olive up here taking her clothes off. <laughs> you must be sick. I'm not sick. Well, I was twice. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's indecent exposure. What's indecent about Olive showing her body? I was talking about her face. <laughs> I don't think Olive's that bad looking. You must be joking, mate. If I took her along to Wife's popping party, they'd probably give me a fella in exchange. I think you're a lot of the trouble with Olive. You handle her all wrong. I don't handle her at all, if I can help. I can't understand you. You didn't have to marry her, did you? Do you mind? There was nothing like that between Olive and me before we got married. Nothing afterwards, by the sound of it. Oh, I don't know. We, uh, we had our moment. <laughs> Just the one? We don't want to make greedy pigs of ourselves, do we? Well, now that you're here, uh, 
what are you going to do? Um, you, why don't you give, just for a change, I mean, they don't ever see you. Why don't you smile it up? Give the viewers a big smile. Just... I, I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Why not? <laughs> I can't think of anything to smile at. Imagine Olive's run off with another fella. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry, it's just a slip of the lip. Oh, you look lovely when you smile. Now that you're here, what are you going to do? Because you know, we ask guests to come on and ask to do something different to what they usually do. Well, I've just done it, haven't I? What? <laughs> no, I mean, wouldn't you like to sing a, a, a romantic duet with me? Oh, thank you, mate. You're not my type. <laughs> in any case, I've only sung once in my life. That was with my wife, Olive. Well, if it'll help you in any way, I'll try and look like Olive. Well, that won't be hard, will it? <laughs> Anthony! Anthony, could you get me a few props? I'll tell you what, I'll try and look like Olive. This, this, is, uh, this is Anthony, he's my middle son. Oh. oh. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, you're Olive's husband, aren't uh, you? That is correct, yes. Oh. Well, never mind. Cheer up. <laughs> Arthur, look into my eyes. What do you see? They're odd, mate. <laughs> odd? Oh, well, it's... I mean, Arthur. <laughs> Be nice to me. <laughs> Go, let me woo you with a love song. All right, get on with it, Scylla. I walk. Like an angel walks. Like a duck in bother boots. <laughs> I talk. Like an angel talks. Yankety yank, 24 hours a day. And my hair has kind of curled. <laughs> Talking about a once on a leg. <laughs> to my Get mind, on. I'm his kind of girl. I'm wise. Like an angel's wife. More like Ernie Wise. <laughs> With eyes. Like an angel's eyes. Like a set of chapelette pigs. And my smile is a kind of pearl. With the oyster still in it. To my mind, I'm his kind of girl. Take it out. What a pair of legs. Those legs go right down to her feet. <laughs> what a pair of feet. They cover half of Oxford Street. <laughs> Like an angel looks. Makes Frankenstein look effeminate. I even cook. Like an angel cooks. We use her dumplings for doorstops. And my mind in the kind of work. To my mind, I'm his kind of girl. Here, stop, 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 stop. Mr. Bygraves, sir or madam. <laughs> I am very glad you asked me along here tonight. You've taught me a lesson. I didn't realise what a terrible life Olive led. Really? Yes, I don't know how she's put up with me all these years, but I can assure you she won't put up with it any longer. Why not? I'm going to send her out to live with you. Uh... <laughs> and my mind...